You know, one of the things that we're seeing is that deep fakes are getting easier and easier to make. And it's easy for you and I as a, and, and high school students and kids to make, make apps at home now, videos at home, generate new content without any supervision that looks very, very real. And so one of the conversations we've had is what happens right before an election? You could drop a mail piece that maybe is, you know, that may look something different or may hint at something that didn't happen. That's one thing, but it's something else to have a video, perhaps me or Josh, going into an inappropriate place or, or have, a, have a voice on something that wasn't our position that we've been campaigning on. So how do we protect the voter in that conversation? And so rather than saying you can't use AI, what we did in that bill and said it before was to provide a disclosure so that if you're going to use AI as a tool, that you have to at least disclose it at the bottom, kind of like we disclose who's paying for something. So at least it may cause the voter to question, is this true? Is it accurate? Is it a reflection of the actual person? And hopes that we would have some transparency, because I think it could be something that could be used uh, very negatively in campaigning right. as we move forward. Well, I'll just say my mom, who's a baby boomer, uh, she has no ability to distinguish between AI-generated video and actual video. She's been buying pills from Elon Musk on the internet off of Facebook. So we can't have that in our political system.